Hi, I'm Bill Gerstel. In this episode of Remaking History, we're going to look at one of the most important metalworking machines ever invented. Being a blacksmith was always tough work. There were a lot of bellows to be operated, heavy iron ingots to haul around, and most of all, a lot of pounding. Smiths needed great arm strength. But then, around the year 1300, in northern England, a nameless blacksmith came up with a better idea, and it was called the Oliver. The Oliver is one of those great inventions that you've probably never heard of. Basically, it allowed the smith to use the power in his leg instead of his arm. Now, why is that a big deal? Since leg muscles are so much stronger than arm muscles, the smith could make parts faster and more accurately. Before the Oliver, nails were incredibly expensive and rare. But after the Oliver, not so much. This is the secret to the Oliver. It's a green tree branch with plenty of springiness and flexibility. It lifts the hammer so the smith can use his leg to deliver another blow. Find a branch as thick as your thumb, then cut it and then smooth it. The medieval smith preferred holly trees. Some historians say the name Oliver is a corruption of the word holly. Now, you could build your own real Oliver, but that would take a lot of work and a lot of money. The parts you need have to be very, very solid, but it's not so hard to make a model Oliver. This model is made completely from three-quarter inch diameter pipe and pipe fittings. You'll find complete instructions on making your own model Oliver in the latest issue of Make Magazine. This is the complete machine. When I operate the treadle, you can see that the green tree branch operates as a cantilevered spring to pull the hammer back up. It's a cool model of a neat machine. For Remaking History and Make Magazine, I'm Bill Gerstel.